Let's do a quick water test. I am pouring one cup of water. This is just to make sure that our Instant Pot is working correctly. So I poured in one cup of water, close the lid. Make sure that it sits on ceiling. I'm gonna press this up to make sure. Now we're gonna go to pressure cook mode. I'm gonna select one minute, high pressure, delay is off and leave it at keep warm mode. Then hit the start button. And the beeping is to let you know that it started. And when you cook in the Instant Pot, it takes about like 10 to 15 minutes or even longer if you have more liquid for it to come to pressure and then it'll count down to the cooking time. So when you see recipes that say five minutes cooking, I have a video for five minute shim paella. So if you have a ton of liquid, you have something frozen, then it's just gonna take longer to, for it to come up to pressure. So just have that expectation that it's going to take longer than what the recipe says for it to, to cook. So when it starts preheating, you'll see the display. I'll tell you where it's at. It's preheating right now. So it's coming up to pressure. So when the pin pops up, it's letting you know that it's under pressure. So now it's showing it's in cooking mode. And the counter, the timer is showing that it's at one minute. It's counting down. So the graph is moving. So it's beeped 10 times. Now it's at zero, 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 and it's on keep warm mode. So you know that the Instapot has finished cooking and this counter is gonna count up to let you know how many minutes it's been on keep warm mode. Now it's safe to release the pressure to open the lid. Anytime you wanna exit the keep warm mode, you just press cancel and it'll stop it from warming. Let's do a quick release. So you can see that the pin is up, the Instant Pot is locked, it's still sealed. You can't open it unless you release the pressure. So either do a quick release or a natural release. So let's do a quick release and we're gonna press the button to let out the steam. And watch the pin, the pin will drop to let you know that the pressure has been released. The pin just dropped to let us know that the pressure has been released now we can open our lid and be careful when you open it because the steam will come out. I like to just turn it and let it hold for a second and then I open it like that. So we did our water test just to test the Instant Pot. It's really easy and it's quick and you don't have to be afraid of your Instant Pot anymore. If you like this video, please click thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Also click the bell so you can be the first to get notified of new videos. See you next time. Bye.